I don't know where the MPP stands on this matter, especially seeing that the biggest concern for the National Youth Organizer for the party and some members that, within the that, party that was, was, was more about the distraction of their party paraphernalia than the real reason why these protesters were on the streets but fighting. I, have, have you for moved every from single, me? Yes, I have. Oh. Don't worry, I'll come back. But I'm trying to manage the time for everyone. But let me bring Junior in. And so I, I really want to understand where the MPP stands on this. Were you for or against the protest, or were you more concerned about the destruction of your party paraphernalia? Thank you very much, Bella. Good morning to you. Good morning to my colleagues and everybody watching us. I think that to start with, MPP is not against any group of persons exercising their constitutional rights. In fact, in this country, MPP has been one of the political parties that has been um, that has done so well in safeguarding our democracy and protecting uh, the sanctity of the constitution. And demonstrating and hitting the streets to organize protests are part of the constitutional rights enshrined in the constitution. So I think that the MPP isn't against anybody demonstrating. But Bella, you would agree with me that a license or the right to demonstrate is not a license for lawlessness. What the MPP is against is lawlessness and the arrogant display of the lawlessness. That is what the MPP is against. Because we have all seen in videos where the conveners for Democracy Hub were destroying, like you have said, paraphernalia belonging to the new patriotic party. And it may interest you to know that the core duty of the police is to ensure law and order. And they ensure this law and order by protecting lives and properties. The party flags that they were destroying are properties belonging to the new patriotic party. And so the police had a duty to protect those properties. And Same for, me, for the river bodies. Exactly, I agree. But if, I mean, we are concerned about Galamsey and the NDC <laughs> isn't immune from the blame of Galamsey. Galamsey didn't start in 2017. It has been an age-old problem in this country. In fact, we, in 2020, we even had their flag bearer saying that when he's voted for, he was going to free the over 76 convicted Galamseyers uh, uh, under this regime. We've also seen the former Deputy National Communications Officer at Galamsey sites telling the Galamseyers that if you vote for John Mahama, he would allow you to do Galamsey. We've seen all those things on video. And so when it comes to the fight against Galamsey, I think that President Tekufuado has done extremely well. Has in he? Fighting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In, because, in what because, sense? Because, because, because you look at the because, state of our water bodies. Because but for a but for, and they but are worse for, off than when the fight started. But under for the, the commitment, government. but for the commitment of President Kufuado, probably the situation would have been worse. And so, and so, and so, and so, moving on to the no, no, no. So, so I, I cannot allow you to make a statement like that and not give your reasons. Mm -hmm. You say that, but for the intervention of the mm -hmm. president, mm -hmm. the situation would have been far worse. Mm -hmm. What are you using to justify this? In 2016, in November 2016. The Ghana Water Company issued a statement that if care is not taken in the next two years, three years, Ghana was going to import water. Since 2017, I have just seen their statement about some few weeks ago, but since 2017, the fight against Galamse or the, uh, the Galamse menace has been curtailed. It is, it is, it is, I agree that maybe we haven't achieved 100% efficiency in fighting the in Galamsey, but it's a national fight. It is not a fight for the new patriotic party or a fight for President Kufuadu alone. Because I disagree with the fact that there's only politicians who are involved in Galamsey. They are chiefs involved in Galamsey. They are members of the NDC involved in Galamsey. They are, they are, they are members of the clergy and the traditional authorities who are all involved in Galamsey. And the NPP. And so, and so... You are saying clergy. So, so that means that you have, you so, have a no, list... No, I am saying that. No, I am saying that. The point I'm making is that <laughs> Galamsey is not only being perpetrated by a certain group of people and so if we want to fight it let's mm -hmm. let's holistically look at the issue and fight it but back to the demonstration which is matter. why the president well, allow me to proceed with the greatest of respect we are not yes. here to talk about galamsey i made a passing comment about galamsey because I'll, that's what the protest is so allow me about. Uh, so now, allow me make my point sorry no allow me make hold my on, point you can come in with your question I but will respectfully always, allow me make I will my point i always allow you to make your point but let me ask my question i'm the one moderating the conversation so please allow me to do my job the president the president put his presidency on the line now, years down the line, as Operation Halt 1, 2, and 3, Operation Vanguard, whatever operation there was, Interministerial Committee, we've come back to that point again 
where another ministerial committee is being set up to look into the effects of Galamse because it has worsened. To the extent that we have CSOs coming out, we have the health services all coming out, threatening to lay down their tools if nothing is done about it because now we're having more babies being born with defects. We're having more people whose bloodstream is being um, contaminated as a result of mercury in our river bodies and our soil and all of that. And so it's gotten worse over time. Do you all get it? All what I'm saying the is The president that puts his presidency on the line and yet we are not seeing any improvement. All what I'm situation. saying is that we need a holistic approach in fighting Kalamsi. But on a demonstration, I think that the police has even been lenient with the demonstrators. How because so? In my opinion, there was nothing democratic about the demonstration that was organized over the weekend. Because if you block the entrance to a major referral hospital, the 37 military hospital, and I have read on Twitter that so far about 10 people have died as a result of the blockage of the main entrance of the 37 military hospital. You read hospital. on Twitter? Yes. Which page exactly? Is it coming from the hospital itself? From the Ghana police it, it was, service? It was coming from the Ghana Ambulance Service. The okay. person works with the Ghana Ambulance Service. So it's one person so, who has so, stated. So, so over, have you 10 persons, over 10 persons have, di have died as a result of the blockage. Have you verified And again, so? again. Chrissy, make my I'm point. going to allow you. But when the Lali said no, 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 persons of this. the NPP hold are on. involved in Galant, so did you ask him I'm whether he has verified you, the information? Hold on. No, but Chrissy. allow me make my point. No, no, you cannot no, make certain statements here. No, 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 but colleagues have made asking. statements without you and asking I them if they have verified. So hold on. No, did you ask you him that? You are saying that, no, that you've seen mm -hmm. a post on Twitter mm -hmm. indicating that some 10 persons have died mm -hmm. as a result of the protesters mm -hmm. blocking the 37 military hospital. I asked a very simple question. Is this coming from the hospital itself? And is this coming from the National Ambulance Service? Is this a formal statement? I, or is just one and, individual? And is that one individual? And, have you cross-checked to and, make and, sure and, that and, that and, is actually true and, and, and verified? No, the point I'm making is that that is why I referred to the post. I am not saying that, I think. I have referred to a post made by somebody. And so let me make my uh, point with the greatest of respect. Can we and check, so, and so, Yes, I'll get, you, I'll get you the post. Don't okay. worry, I'll send it to you. And producers, if you can please cross-check and see if it's true. And so, and so, and so the point I'm making is that we have all seen videos of these protesters, protesters um, um, engaging in lawlessness because you cannot block a major road such as the 37 intersection and use there as a football field. We have all seen videos of the conveners playing football in the middle of the street. And for me, it is the impudence and the effrontery and the temerity with which these protesters and demonstrators exhibited the lawlessness. Because we live in a country where, in as much as we respect the right to demonstrate and the right to protest, we are also against violence, using violent means to, you know, seek audience from the government or whatsoever. And so I think that going forward, the police must be very strict on, on these democracy help protesters. Because I have also seen a video where one of their conveners, Ralph, in three said, uh, Ghana for your moi. To wait, Ghanaians are animals, and that and that Ebimuwa Enyeshi. This is a national security matter. You cannot call Ghanaians animals and say that if, if some of them die, there is there, there there is absolutely nothing wrong just because you are demonstrating. This so cannot that, be so, democracy. So that's why they should be arrested. Of course, and they should not be arrested because of, of, or given course, access of course, to their families. of course, they should be arrested. But I am not aware that the police is trying to hide them for any reason you have told me that you have said on this show mm -hmm. that you are aware your source has told you that they are being arranged before court today so you can very clear you can you can check from your source but the lawyer as to where they are being held because you have said hold on no. hold on Chrissy, <laughs> i spoke to the lawyer this morning mm -hmm. and i asked questions mm -hmm. he even confirmed mm -hmm. that per the details they are also getting they will be how did they know that they, how did they, how however did they, they've been to these police stations mm -hmm. and in most cases they are being prevented from getting how in did touch how did the they know that they, how did they know that those who have been arrested are being arranged before court this morning how did the lawyers know and how did you know Ah. How did the lawyers means, know? Yes, how did they know? But the lawyers oh. have been to the police station. Exactly. So and which means the lawyers have been giving audience. Been 
to which means the lawyers. With. However, the number mm -hmm. of them, they are not being given the chance to speak to. So Is you are not right clarifying the, the statement that no, no, no. there are some no, of them who have been given me. the opportunity. See, don't put this on me. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not putting anything on you. I spoke to a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Let's stick to what the lawyer mm -hmm. said, not what I said. Mm -hmm. I have not interacted with no, the No, but you have also said it here. No, hold on. You have also said it here. I see how you're trying to twist this. I'm not trying to twist anything. No, I'm not trying to twist anything. So the lawyer said he's not been given the chance to interact with some of these people who have been arrested. And as far as the law is concerned, mm -hmm. that's illegal because before you mm -hmm. even take statements from people, mm -hmm. you must give them the chance to interact with their lawyers, mm -hmm. to have their lawyers present, or mm -hmm. at least speak to their family members. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they don't know where their phones are. They are mm -hmm. not aware what's going on. They don't even know what they're being charged with. As per what the lawyer said, mm -hmm. is that right legally? No, but, 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 but you have just mentioned that they have been arranged before court, which means they've been charged with an offense, which means there's a charge sheet. And the lawyer has also confirmed to us that there are some of them Meaning not all of them. There are some of them that they do not know they are aware about. The police has told us that they have arrested 42 persons. The lawyer is also saying they have arrested, uh, they think that 46 persons have been arrested. And so I think that it is even possible that the, the difference between the, num the number of persons who have gone missing have not, have not even been arrested by the police. Because the police administration is telling us that it's only 42 persons who have been arrested. But I think that the police... In my opinion, I even think that the police over pampered the demonstrators. Because I have seen a video of Oliver Baka Vomewo having the audacity to approach a, a police vehicle, open the door of the police vehicle, remove the car key of the police vehicle, and throw it away. This cannot happen in any democracy. And that act is, there's nothing democratic about that act. Do this elsewhere and see if you not get shot. Be because we cannot, we cannot allow this. This is an unprovoked attack on the police service and on our security installation. Exactly. So why are we not talking about the cause of arrest, but rather talking about he being arrested and, 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 and trying to paint the picture as if the police is being insensitive and not being, okay. not being professional about Delali, it. Is, I think to is end, that the to sense? End, Sorry, end, your, your time is up.